Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Blair, welcome to my beauty space. So today I want to do my holiday look high-end edition. So I create this full look using all the high-end products that I got from Ulta, Sephora or any other retailers to create this look. So if you want to know how do I get this look and what products do I use, just please keep watching. All right, first for the lotion today, I'm going to use the extra treatment lotion from Bobbi Brown and I love this lotion. I think it is such a great product for the winter time because it is very potent so that not only you will cleanse your skin, you will have extra hydration as you can see right here, like the potent. And I am using a cotton pad from Shiseido. I just love Shiseido's cotton pad because it is just so high quality, so soft. So yeah. Next, I am going to use the Tarte Maracuja Gold Oil. So this is the oil right here. Isn't that so pretty? I literally bought this oil mainly because of the packaging, but I also think it is a good oil, but it do smell a little bit oily. I'm not going to lie, but look at the gold flakes in the tube. So pretty. So yeah, I'm going to just put it on my hand and then I'm going to massage it a little bit and then I'm going to apply it all over my face. This oil is very nourishing, so that's why I really, really love it. I feel like if you are suffering from dry skin in the winter time, an oil is definitely your best friend. Like even if you are oily, you still should use oil because when you are oily, that means that you're dehydrated. So your skin produces extra oil to compensate for that. That's why a hydrating oil can be really, really helpful. So I'm going to just apply it all over my face. I love this oil, especially for the winter time. It is super lightweight, it's very easy to absorb. So yeah, just like this. And moving on for the lip care, today I'm going to use the Erin Rose Lip Conditioner. So this is what it looks like. I got it from Nordstrom. I really love this conditioner because you just push it out like this and then you just apply it directly. It's great on my lip. It definitely do not feel super sick. And also it has a very light rose scent that I really, really love. All right, next for the eye cream. Today I am going to use the eye cream from the Kiehl's holiday set. I have showed this holiday set in my holiday gift guide video. So I'll leave a card right here so that you guys can check it out. And once you open it up, here are the four pieces. And today I'm going to use the creamy eye treatment with avocado. So this is a product right here. And here's a close up. And I am using this for the first time, but I heard great things about this one. So we shall see. Whoa, that is a lot. So this is a cream it looks like inside. As you can see, it is pretty potent. So I feel like a tiny little bit is enough. Like I feel like I already put so much the first round. So like this, it is a little bit hard to blend it out. I'm not going to lie. So you're just going to blend it out like this. So yeah, this is definitely not like a super lightweight eye cream. It takes a while to blend it out, but it feels really nice on my eyes and it does not have any scent. So I really, really love it. So that's the eye cream. And for the moisturizer today, I am going to use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream from here. So this is also a very popular product from Kiehl's. Maybe that's why they put this all in a holiday set. So this is the Ultra Facial Cream and it is a very popular product from Kiehl's as well. So once you open it up, here is what it looks like inside. And I'm going to just pick it up and using my fingers to apply all over. It does not have any scent, so I like that. Wow, this one is so creamy. It is super lightweight. I like that. Wow, I didn't expect this facial cream to be this lightweight, considering how thick that eye cream is. 
but this one does feel really really nice and also it just melts into my skin so yeah i absolutely love it no wonder why this is a best seller on sephora and also this one has a greenland first accent 24 hour everyday hydrating formula so that is really awesome so i highly recommend you guys check it out first impression wise this is thumbs up from me all right, moving on for the primers. Today, I am going to use the Becca Evermatte Pro List Primer. So this, I got it on sale, and I really, really love this primer. I have already used it once. I think it is a great primer if you have oily skin, or you feel like your base makeup is a little bit too oily, because this is what it looks like. It will definitely help put all your makeup in the place. To blend it out, today I'm going to use a beauty sponge from The Beauty Bakery. So this is the Egg Bake. This is called the Blending Egg, which is super smart. And it comes with three pink ones and three green ones. As you can see, I've already used one. So yeah, today I'm going to use a pink one to blend it out. As always, spray some my Fix Plus to make it moist. And I'm going to just dab this onto my blender and then just blend it like this. This definitely feel very thick on the skin. So I think it definitely helps to put everything in the place, not let them move around, all that kind of good jazz. So let's go. And excuse me, I have a little pimple right here, but I'm going to do my facial tomorrow. So everything should be good. So this is what it looks like. It just feels really, really good. So I just feel like it is super sticky, so it will glue everything to your skin, which is what I love. And I don't want to overuse it because it's already pretty sticky, so let's move on to the foundation. And for the foundation, today I want to use the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. And this one has SPF 40. This is the best seller on bobbybrown.com. And I understand why, because it is a serum foundation. I think it is super nice. It comes with a dropper. So you just drop all the foundation onto your face. And I love the fact that it is pretty full coverage, yet very lightweight. So here is a color, and mine is in the shade Warm Neutral 4.5. I think this might be a little bit darker for me right now. I bought it during like the summer months, but we can always use a concealer to brighten it up, so it's no problem. But as you can see, like how like full coverage that is. But in the same time, it is pretty lightweight, so I really, really love it. And in terms of this Beauty Blending Eggs, I don't really like it. I have to be honest, I feel like this is kind of stiff and I feel like the L'Oreal sponge is better than this one and I feel like Beauty Blender is obviously better than this one so I recommend this one because I feel like you can get a better one whether it's the L'Oreal one or the Real Technique one or the Eco Tools, I think they're all better than this one and obviously I love my Beauty Blender because this one just extra soft so I'm going to blend out the rest using my Beauty Blender Spray it out, and then let's just bounce. Going to put a little bit more on my cheeks because I do feel like that blending X eats up a lot of the products, which I don't really like. So we're going to just, you know, pound it down like this. So yeah, this is the foundation looks like. As you can see, I think it is such a beautiful foundation. But yeah, there are parts that I felt like need more coverage, but I don't necessarily it's the foundation's problem because I do think that blending eggs definitely, you know, kind of take away a lot of the products. So I'm going to use this concealer to add extra coverage here. So this is a Juicy Mare Webersay concealer. I really love this concealer because I just feel like it is, you know, very creamy and very pigmented. And I think this is a good color for me as well. So I'm going to just add it like, underneath my eyes and also, you know, push onto my eyelid as well, like this, as you can see, like this. And I'm going to do the other side, it's the same, like this, and also like right here, around my nose, and also like the chin area, so like right here, and then right here. Oh my goodness, I love what I see. I think this is 
beautiful. Voila, that is my concealer after the foundation. Moving on to set my face, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is the holiday edition, I just love it. And today I'm going to use the powder puff that comes with this holiday set. I usually don't like to use powder puff because I felt like the beauty blender can just place all the powder right underneath my eyes. I feel like it's a perfect size versus the puff might be a little bit big. I really want to try it out because it feels really soft. So maybe for the overall face, I'm going to dust in powder using this puff. And for the baking of my under eye, I'm going to use my beauty blender. So yeah, let's do it. So yeah, I'm going to just place it all over my face. Yeah, I feel like this powder puff, maybe it's better for like makeup artist, but for me, I think it's a little bit too like big to do it. I think I personally prefer more like a pointed top to place like the powder underneath my eyes, like the Beauty Blender puff, um, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm going to just use my Beauty Blender to place it like here. Like this. I think that's also the reason why like Beauty Blender is so popular after all these years because I just think it's a perfect size and I love like the texture. I just think it feels so, so nice. See, once you place it right there, don't you feel like the whole look is already kind of matte? So let's just, so let's just put a little bit more like especially down on my chin and also in between my brows. So yeah, see here is the Beauty Blender Puff. I just found it out like this. So I feel like this will be really, really convenient when you're doing that. I have already set the powder underneath my eyes, but I can always do a little bit more. So let me show you guys. Like you can just place it like this. I feel like it will be really convenient like this. Just place it all over. I feel like this puff is definitely better than the Laura Mercier one. The Laura Mercier one, I kind of like, especially if you're a makeup artist, but I still feel like this might be better. And this is softer and I love the shape way better. So yeah, I love this one. All right, moving on. Since the whole face is already set, I am going to move on to the eyes. And for today, I'm going to use the Dose of Color Desi and KD collaboration. I feel like this is such a holiday palette. I know that they launched this one around like September, maybe October. They can definitely push a little bit back to the holiday collection, but I understand why they launched at that time. I think this is a perfect holiday palette and everybody, if you want to get it for someone else, just look at the colors. These are all beautiful holiday shades. So this is a palette I'm going to work with today to create my holiday look. So yeah, let's just get started with the eye look. So first I'm going to do my base. I'm going to use this Shadow Intensify brush from Smashbox. This is another great brush because it's dual fiber and also it has an angle to it. So when you do like the eyeshadows, you can definitely intensify it. And I'm going to use the first shade right here to cover all my eyelid. So yeah, this is the first layer looks like. I just really love this color. I feel like this is such a perfect like, you know, base shade. Especially if you want to set your eyes one more time, I feel like you can totally use this shade to set it. Let me swatch it right here. It's called Basic. So this is a color right here. And yeah, as you can see, it has a little bit of sheen to it, but it's not too much. So I really, really love that. And moving on, I'm going to use the shade right here. And this is called Necessary. So to intensify the look, I'm going to use the same brush because we're adding colors. So that's why I think it's appropriate to use the same brush. So this will be mainly to intensify the whole look like, like this. And then I'm going to use this 242 brush by Makeup Forever to blend it out because I just need a fluffy brush to blend it out like the darker shade. So it's like this. And then the same goes with this side. 
I do notice there is a little bit of the fallout right here, but you know what? I don't really mind because I feel like this brown color can also be used under the lower lash line. So I think it is good. And then moving on, I want to use this darker kind of a brown to really like intensify one more step. And I'm going to use the MAC 224. I think this is a classic blending brush. So just dab a little bit on and then I'm just going to just do like this using like a windshield my promotion just back and forth like this it is really pretty i love the fact that this palette has so many mattes so that it is very like easy to use you can just use one palette to finish the whole look so i really love the design i think this is a great palette i do feel like 55 dollars is a little bit much but you can always use a coupon right because alta always have coupons so yeah i just love all the colors especially the math like how they like chose the colors i think they did a great job in terms of choosing like the shades i feel like all the shades are stacking up like one step darker 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 so that it is very easy to use I for sure will pull this palette a lot. That's why I think it's worth the money because even if I don't use a shimmer, I will still use the mattes in this palette to do my basic eye look. So yeah, this is the eye base color. I really, really love it. I think it's so pretty. Now it's time to play around with the shimmers. So first I'm going in with this pink shade right here. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to place it right in the center of my eyes whoa this color is fire look at that and this is called try me yeah i'm going to try you because it is gorgeous look at this color right same goes the other eye oh that is so pretty and next, I'm going to use this champagne shimmer using a different finger. So this is a color. And I'm going to place it on the top, like the tip of my eyes, like tear dots, like this. Maybe blend it over a little bit on like the pink shimmer. Wow, I love it. Look at this. Isn't that so gorgeous? I just love it so much. I'm going to go back to this blending brush from MAC just to blend out a little bit more. Just a tiny little bit, you know? This is a color. It is so pretty. All right now, I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm going to use this Makuli. This is the Shishido brand. I think they mainly sold in Asia. And I'm going to line my eyes. This is a liner because it's kind of, so this is kind of like a brown shade. That's why I chose it because I think this will go really well with this kind of brown look. So yeah, this is an eyeliner. I just really, really love it. And moving on for the lashes, I'm going to use a pair from Lash Holic, and this is called Insta Glam. So it's a really smart name. And here's the inside looks like. Look how pretty is these lashes. Look how long they are. So I'm going to apply it off camera and I will be right back. All right, lashes are on. So this is what it looks like. I really love this eye makeup look. I think it is so beautiful and it is very like holiday appropriate. Oh so yeah, I'm very happy about how it turned out to be. So moving on, I'm going to use a little bit of the banana powder from this Smashbox Trio to clean up my under eye a little bit. So I'm going to, so I'm going to just apply it like this. Actually, I think this is my first time using this powder. So I'm going to just use it like a tar brush and I then just place it like underneath my eyes. And I'll do the same for the other eye, just like this. And also around my nose. And also like, on my forehead wow look how brightening it looks i think this is a great powder and moving on i'm using the same brush and i'm picking up this gray powder to contour and mix a little bit with the middle shade right here 
and then we're going to just place it right here. I love that I can just use one brush to do all kinds of, you know, functions. So I'm mixing these two contours and just place it right here. I really love this trail, by the way. I think all the colors are so like carefully curated. So it is just very easy to use and it is just good colors. I feel like on everybody. So I highly recommend. So let's put it on. And I'm going to blend it out using this Marc Jacobs powder brush. So I'm going to just blend it out like this. And also this side, it's the same. Just like blend it out like this. Put a little bit more and put it on here. And it's just like, you know, place it down here. Like this. So yeah, I love it. Today I'm going to use this E Cosmetics brow pencil. I love this brow pencil because it is just super tiny. I feel like this is a great dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. So I'm going to just like draw my brows like this. Look how cute that is. That is super cute. Wow, I love it. Same with this one. I'm just going to fill me in along like my own brow shape. So yeah, it's like this. I think it is super nice. But moving on to clean out the brow, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. This is what it looks like. So here is a pen. And let me swatch it right here. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to just clean out like the brow like this. Look how easy. Literally, you just place it right there and then blend it out. And voila, that's that. And you can even put a little bit like here to like cover all your brow shape and clean up all the you know little individual hairs so it is like this i really love this brow highlighter and it is from maybelline so it is super affordable so yeah this is what my brows look like i think they look extra snatched so i love it all right moving on to the blush today i'm going to use the becca be a light highlighting palette i got this one on sale i'm super happy about it because i just love the color look at the colors isn't that so gorgeous so today i'm going to use this color in particular i feel like this can almost be used as a highlight yeah so i'm going to just blend out these two shades using this um, morphe e4 brush just blend it out and then just place it right here. Isn't that so nice? I think it is. I think this is so nice. And just place it here. And then, and then I'm using this Sephora powder brush to like dust off like the excess powder like this. So yeah, I feel like my whole face is very warmed up. And I just love how subtle this looks like. And I'm going to just, you know, puff out a little bit everywhere. So yeah, I just really love how this powder makes my face looks like. It just feel like really soft glow. You know what this palette reminds me of? This reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. It's kind of the same principle. It's just very soft, glowy. And let me swatch this powder for you guys. Look, it's kind of like a bronze but light bronze. And then this powder is kind of like a light champagne. It gives like an overall like glow type of feel. So let me pick a little bit of powder right here, mix with this. And I'm going to just like dusting off like all over my face, especially my forehead. I feel like it is just very like subtle type of colors. So it won't be super like harsh. That's why I really, really love it. All right, moving on for the highlight today. So for the highlight, I'm going to use the Alpha highlight in the shade Rodeo Drive. This is so pretty. Are you ready? Look at the color. 
And I remember when I swatched this in Ulta, my heart is just like blown away because of how pigmented this is. And on top of that, this is just so like finely milled. It is so delicate. It just feels super, super nice because it is a baked highlighter. Today, I'm going to use a fan brush and just apply it right here. Wow, that is beautiful. Wow, so pretty. I love the shade. I think it is so pretty. Also a little bit underneath my brow, a little bit here. Wow, look at the color. It is so, so pretty. I highly recommend this highlighter to anybody because it is gorgeous. All right, lastly for the lips, I am going to use the same Desi and Kitty collaboration. So I have two shades. One is called Hey Girl. So this is more like a lighter nude color. And then the other one is called Aftermath. So this is more like a dark chocolatey color. So I'm going to use this one. And then I might put a little bit of this color on top. But let me... So yeah, let me just apply this one first. Here is a color. Oh my god, it is so pretty. It is such a beautiful chestnut brown color. It is so gorgeous. Like, I love it. Let me swatch it real quick. So here is a color on my hand. As you can see, it is not like super like brown. It is definitely very pigmented and very nourishing, but it is not like a super matte pigmented color, which I really, really love. I think this is really pretty. And I'm going to put a little bit of Hey Girl right here. Wow, so pretty to create an ombre look. Oh my goodness, I love this look. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is so pretty. And lastly, a little bit of the Illuminating Setting Spray from Cover FX. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I really love this look. I think it is so appropriate for any kind of holiday parties. I think it is such a beautiful look. I love this eyeshadow palette. I think it is definitely a great holiday palette, whether it is for you or for other people as a gift. I just think the colors are so pretty. Let me swatch it one more time. So this is a color I'm using today as my main shimmer color. Look at the pigmentation. Time I have to use these two colors especially the blue color right here oh my god look at that and right here oh my goodness the colors are out of this world it is so beautiful and also this kind of a dirty morning color oh my goodness it is so gorgeous. So yeah, I will definitely do more looks using this palette because I'm not done playing with this yet. So, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.